I'm doing a little experiment here. Uh, you guys might know the Moringa tree. Uh, if you don't know about it, search about that. It's a really good tree where the, uh, some people actually call it the miracle plant. You can eat the roots, you know, you can eat the, the, the stalk, you can eat the seeds, the leaves are very nutritious. You dry the leaves, then you crush them and you have the powder for a vitamin. And the seeds are very nutritious. You can make oil out of them. You can crush the seeds and actually make a water purifier. So this is going to be a video. We'll see how it turns out. I ordered these online from a place here in Texas. I wanted to get one local. And you could order. It was like five bucks for 50 seeds. And these are, there's different seeds. There's regular eating seeds and there are raw seeds. Make sure you get the raw seeds. So, and I actually got 60. So they, you know, they just put a handful in where they know it's more than 50, which is good. So to, to germinate it, all I did was I got this cup full of water. Uh, I didn't want any chlorine in that. So what I did is I boiled the water, I put it in this cup, and I let it sit for about two, three hours to cool down to room temperature, just to make sure nothing was in there. Uh, you probably wouldn't have to do that, but you know, why not? It doesn't hurt anything. And I let it soak overnight. Oh, it probably is about 18 hours, I guess. I put them single layer in the sheet. Now, I'm going to see if there's a difference because I see people say two different ways. You can see the difference. These look like they got the little husk on and these look like they're off. This side, except that last row here, I peeled them off and this side I didn't. So I'm just doing a little personal experiment to see if one way matters or not. So I just laid them out single layer and then I put some of this water down here so it was moist. And what I'm going to be doing is sending it I just on the table here I got these are slate tiles uh, our floor here you can see slate these are just extra to help keep the heat uh, to, just to help insulate the heat you know so we don't lose it and I got a heating pad here on low and then what I'm going to do is set this on that covered just to keep the humidity in and then I will turn the light on after the wall if I need more heat but uh, we'll see how this goes uh, these takes one, two, or three weeks to germinate, and we'll see what percentage of germination we don't. So I'm hoping to have a whole bunch of these trees on my land because uh, I ate the seeds once, and the, the, the nuts were actually pretty good to eat. <laughs> so even if I get them for that, that's pretty good. But I just think the other uses are pretty cool too. So that's it. I hope you guys found this informative, and we will. I'm going to keep this video. I'm not going to publish it right now. I will publish it when we start seeing germination, but uh, you guys won't know about the weight since it'll click right over to it. So hopefully we'll get some. Okay, so next day, uh, you probably can't tell, nothing's been done. Uh, the only thing is to turn the light on. Uh, this is yellow just from age, because it's this has been a while. Uh, let me go back and kind of see the setup, how I have it here. Uh, I'll go down close, you can kind of see some of them. None of them have germinated. I just wanted to show you the setup. Uh, the only reason I got the light on now is to help keep it warm. So, just thought I'd give a quick day two and to show you how it was actually set up under here. I don't have the light on during the day. I have it on at night just to help keep it a little warmer. Uh, it, it just seemed a little cool to me in the house. I got the fireplace going, but this isn't even remotely near it. I could probably turn the heating pad up too, but I'll turn the light on for a couple hours and then turn it off, so that should do it. So that's it. I'll get back to you guys later. Okay, everybody, today's day eight, and I want to show you how fast this was. Yesterday, this was nothing. And look, these are already to the top, and I'll put my finger here for size. Literally, yesterday, nothing. And today we have that one there, that big one there. Uh, where's the other one? That one right there. And a couple over here in the corners. One here. And there's one starting right down there. The others, I don't know if they will start or not, but pretty happy. I was hoping to get a few, and for sure I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's a good start. Hopefully we'll get a couple more. The only thing is... 
uh, every other day I had to add about a cup of water to this. Just added the water and they took off. Uh, what I'm gonna have to do now is probably tomorrow take these ones out and actually plant them uh, to get them going and I'll keep them in the greenhouse before I plant them outside. But again, I didn't even turn the light on the whole time. I, I kept it on for once or twice just to see. Absolutely no difference. I just had the heating pad underneath. Uh, what really helped with these slate tiles really saved that heat on there. So go get a couple tiles, you know, Lowe's or Home Depot or Menards or something, you know, just the 50 cent tiles like this. These are 12 inch by 12 inch and you'll save a lot of heat because once that gets warm, it, it pretty much goes. And this was on, has four settings. It was on the really low setting. So that's it. I hope everybody has a great day. And you can see how, uh, again, I'll put my finger up for size and you can see how quick that germinated and sprouted once it popped through. So it was eight days and most people say it takes uh, 10 to 14 so we still might get some more uh, that's it i'll show progress later on in the uh, spring and summer how these are going